or just what's it like going into the final home series of the year, knowing how big these next three games are for y'all and your um, and kind of hosting resume? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, got an opportunity to play a really good team um, with a chance to host, which is something that seemed a little bit out of reach there for a little bit when we hit that skid. Uh, but now I really think we control our own destiny and full capacity should be fun. How, how do you kind of evaluate your role as a guy that obviously has got more innings of late? And what do you feel like you can help this team with down the stretch here? Um, I'm a cheerleader, uh, very much a big uh, good vibe tribe guy as well. I'm in the dugout in the bullpen, I'm just trying to be the best teammate I can. And then if an opportunity comes my way, just taking advantage of it. How, how easy has that been um, this year for you being a cheerleader and being part of, I guess, what they call the good vibe tribe? I was a cheerleader at CSU as well. Obviously got to play a lot more, um, but I had a tough injury here in the fall, um, kind of changed the trajectory of my season um, and just embracing that role and just trying to be the best teammate I can. Yeah. Yeah, when, uh, when, when you had that first appearance, your teammates really reacted very positively uh, when, when you came off came off the mound, you know, I, I know you pitched a, a ton of innings at, at, at Charleston Southern, but, you know, just having that reaction from those teammates, uh, what, what did that mean to you then at, at, at that time in that moment? It was really cool. Um, very supportive from the dugout. They're really loud. Um, they were obviously excited to see me finally get out there. Um, and then Eister's comments post game meant a lot to me. Um, sh shot in the text after that. Um, really means a lot that they've taken to me that way and, uh, really embrace that I've been a good teammate. And, and, and do you feel like you have uh, have a lot to offer the rest of the season? Obviously, there's a lot of games next week in the SEC tournament, potentially, and and uh, with, with some roles shifting around with, with Mahoney's injury, do you, do you feel like there's there's more that you can give? Absolutely. Um, take those opportunities when they come. I get the opportunity, um, go out there and just compete and uh, take it all in while I'm doing it. Or just what's what's the key to being a good cheerleader? Is there a secret to it? Is it something you kind of develop? And, and what are some things that you maybe say to the guys as you're you know, cheering them on? You know, just keeping a lot of energy. Um, some guys, you know, especially when guys are getting out, I like to be the first one out of the dugout, um, giving the high five to the pitcher coming off. And then again, um, even after we get out, giving a Georgia high five and telling him to get us back in there. Every time is a big thing for me. Wimmer makes fun of me for it. Um, but want to get us back in there and support him as much as I can. And obviously, this is a pitching staff with some veteran arms on it, but some young guys too. The, the Mahoney's before his injury, um, Will Sanders. Just what is your impression of some of the guys on this roster that might be on, might be here for two or three years? You know? Yeah, they're they're really impressive. I tell Will all the time. I told Mahoney as well. I'm excited to come back and watch him pitch on Friday night um, here at Founders. Whenever I'm done, um, they've been extremely impressive in the fall. I mean, those guys they all throw 95. Uh, we didn't have guys like that at the previous school coming in as freshmen, just so ready to pitch at college baseball. Um, but they're they're really impressive, and I'm excited to be able to say I know them here in a couple of years whenever their names get called.